Tim Bonner is the Chief Executive of the Countryside Alliance, joins us now. Afternoon, Tim. Good afternoon. Is that the only change? Smile? Um, a smile a bit. I, the, the, the fundamentals of this, as you've just laid out, are, are, are the same as they've always been. It's yeah. about common sense. It's about taking your litter home. It's about not letting your dog chase livestock. Um, it's, it's about staying on footpaths. Uh, it's about not lighting barbecues and, in uh, vulnerable places, especially on moorland, where, where where you can set the whole place alight. And, and I hope you know, th- there's been it's been a really hard year for everyone. Um, and the countryside needs people. It needs visitors. Um, and your uh, rural business is going to be thrilled to see people back coming back into the countryside uh, more over the next few months. But at the same time, we've also seen over the last year or so some really difficult um, uh, clashes with large numbers of people wanting to access the countryside, understandably, but in, at times a, a minority of them not using it responsibly. Um, and these things aren't complicated. You know, you, you know perfectly well that if you're dumping a load of litter from your picnic lunch, you know, that that's not, that's not part of any show and it's actually not part of any decent society. Yeah. You know, if you're, if you're letting a dog chase a farmer's sheep around the field equally, that's, that's the common sense. So hopefully this is an opportunity to remind people of those common sense things and get them to take responsibility so that everyone can enjoy the countryside. Indeed. We were talking interestingly by coincidence about uh, the littering of parks and beaches uh, over the last few days the weather's been good and lockdown beginning to ease and people going out and catching some sun and not taking litter with them and you you just touch really on the central point tim i mean you kind of we all rack our brains in fact tear our hair out at things that our fellow humans do um letting your dog in a field where there are sheep and i'm, I'm sure there are cases where people have done this for fun thinking oh that'll be quite amusing dropping litter starting a barbecue where there's you know lots of clearly flammable area around you i mean all this stuff off. you think you know I, my seven-year-old boy i think probably knows this uh you have to wonder who are the people that don't know this well you do but unfortunately there are quite a few of them you know, know. We, we, we see the picture we see the pictures uh we see the rest of it and and you know, littering on a beach is you know, or in a park is bad enough and i'm not belittling that anyway it's, it's idiotic drives me mad yeah. but when when you're leaving that plastic in a field and it can be picked up by cattle and it can actually affect someone's livelihood and and the really sad thing is that there's it, it creates this this clash which shouldn't exist um where where the rural community becomes worried about people visiting the countryside of course yeah we, we what we should what we should be doing is looking forward to having as many visitors as possible getting people out to use the countryside responsibly they support the rural economy um and yeah helps all all, on our way back from a from a dreadful year we've had yeah but you know you've seen it we've seen in especially some of the more remote parts of the country um you know an extreme um attitude which isn't everyone in the countryside but you can understand why some of it happens and people are saying don't come here don't get out and that's absolutely that's something that you know my organization and and i think rural communities as a whole really want to uh, want to make sure doesn't happen um but when you when you walk out your door and you're finding you know, you're finding rubbish plowed all over the countryside or your yeah. gates are being left open, the cattle, over. you can understand why people are concerned and why they do react um, in that way sometimes. Indeed. Tim, thank you. Great to have you on, sir.